Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meadsy69 and welcome back to Open Test 6.7, the update everyone has been waiting for. And we're going to get straight to it because we have a lot to talk about. Now the first thing Wargaming had, have had it is this thing right here, receive messages only from friends. Yes, you can turn that on so no one can message you, which is great for those that um, get raised at quite a bit. Now, some nerfs here for the Progetto 65. Uh, the penetration, everything, all that's the same. It's the dispersion um, and the aim time is gone from 3 to 3.4. Dispersion 0 0.71 to 0 0.287. And I think there is a couple of others of traverse speed. Uh, yeah, the whole traverse speed has gone down a little bit. And the, and the Progetto, that was the standard B, sorry. And no, that was the Progetto, I'm sorry. And the standard B has uh, dispersion as well. A little bit more dispersion, so it's been nerfed a little bit. So a few little buffs there. Um, next up, we have the Fosh 155. Now, the Fosh 155, it hasn't as much been nerfed. Um, it has a little bit. The DPM has dropped ever so slightly. However, what they've decided to do, instead of a 640 Alpha gun for the two shells, uh, they gave it a 540 and the magazine reload is dropped about two and a half seconds. So not really a nerf. I mean, 640 damage it used to do with about 15 or so, 15 and a half second reload. Um, the intraclip is the same. The seven seconds intraclip is the same. However, they've literally just dropped the, the shell outburst from 640 to five. 40 or something like that uh, 560 sorry not 540 560 so even though it's less but you do have a quicker reload as I've said two and a half second quicker reload for the entire clip so just a change there for the Fosh I, I honestly think it should have been nerfed um, but I reckon I think they should have just kept the reload at the same but the damage less now FE215B less hit points around 115 less hit points now this is fully kitted out with the sandbags extra armor and it's around 115 less uh, a few tanks being strengthened 87 88 black prince is is2 is2 kv3 t29 t25 at yak panther tiger one and panther now that just says tank strengthened i'm sure that just means in certain areas it's just been strengthened in uh, not the whole tank, just in certain areas of the tank. Next up, we have a buff for the 121B. It is going to get a better rate of fire, lower reload. I'm not sure what it is yet. But here we are. This is what everyone really wants to see. This is why everyone is here. They don't want to know the buffs. They don't want to know the nerfs. They want to know the ATGMs. Um, now, first up, the T92E1. Now, 1,700 hit points. It's a, obviously it's an anti-guided missile. The armor on these are, you have no armor. You have no armor whatsoever. But what you do have is a rocket. You have a missile. This the tank since the T-49A that everybody has been waiting for. Now, 1953 damage per minute, very, very low, 17.20 seconds reload. Uh, the APCR on this thing is 205 52 millimeters and don't forget the APCR is a standard round it's not a rocket the heat is the only rocket ammunition at 374 millimeters a pen with calibrated shells what a lovely penetration that is 99 on your HE now it does 560 alpha on both your uh, AP and heat and it does 680 on your HE now I would recommend not really using the HE I don't think you need it because you have the chance of low rolling and I just think it should be a little bit more damaged than that. There's really no point using your HE. Aim time 4.1, dispersion 0 0.380 and it does have 10 degrees of gun depression and it goes 65 kilometers an hour. Now, this tank, these are hard to play. These are very, very hard to play. And those of you that played the T49A might You'd think that you'd have the advantage because you played the T49A. Well, you don't. You, you don't. It's still the the missile is very, very, very difficult to aim. Very difficult to aim. 
and I would actually recommend not using the missiles. I've tested the Sheridan, which we're going to have a look next, and I'm like rated third in the whole world. And I'm behind Nick Ace from the RU server and just above Ufpanjar, one of the two best players in the game. And I didn't really use the guided missiles because I, I honestly think they're totally pointless. I really do. Uh, we're up against the Sheridan there, which we saw had uh, spaced armor if you use the HE, 300 damage. Um, so it, the Sheridan is full of spaced armor, which we will look at. Uh, well, we won't look at. So these are. this is how I recommend playing the missiles and using the missiles wisely. And that is close combat, like when you know you're not going to miss, except for that shot there where I, I hit his track. Don't hit the track. Remember, it is heat, uh, so don't hit the track. Now, it is these kind of situations is the only time I'd use it. If you're face hugging, not face hugging, you shouldn't be face hugging, but if you're in close combat like this and you can... You can see the penetration. We can pen this E75 upper plate, top, uh, bottom plate, anywhere we can penetrate. So the penetration on the rocket is absolutely lovely. But you need to use it wisely. And I, I, I'm, I know what's going to happen. These tanks are going to get released in 6.7. Everyone's going to get them and everyone's just going to be firing missiles. But you shouldn't, guys. You really use your missiles wisely because it, you will end up losing your team the game and this is exactly i'm showing you how you should re you should be using those missiles don't try these fancy shots which you can occasionally get but you see at the beginning of that it's very very hard now next up we have the sheridan and this is the tank i tested and i absolutely love the tank not because it's got rockets take away the rockets i won't ever use the rockets unless i'm literally close close combat like nearly face to face with a mouse for instance that's when you should be using the rockets when you know you're not going to miss so um, i would use calibrated shells because it has heat um and 374 millimeters of pen on a, on a light tank this is basically a t49 in tier 10 and the stats wise 1910 hit points again uh, no armor at all but it is covered in space armor so if you come up against a uh, death stars or anything big that are going to load he just give them your side because you do have the ability to only get splash damage so damage per minute on this thing is 2319 it is a little on the low side and that is 14.49 seconds reload and again 252 on your apcr 374 on your heat and 99 on your he so the 90, uh, the he pen is actually pretty good but honestly i wouldn't use the he unless even if you're up against a grill, I mean, yes, you can do over 700 damage, but you can also do around 400 damage. Aim time 4.4, dispersion 0 0.380. And again, it has 10 degrees of gun depression and it goes 65 kilometers an hour. Now, this first battle, I am in a training room with my mate Andy Everton. Thank you very much for helping me out. And as you can see here, he is in a bat chat. And we're going to use the APCR, which is pretty... The APCR still is pretty good on this thing, and especially as it's a, a light tank, you can really get around the map and carry because it has that big alpha alpha shot. Now, this battle here, we're pretty much going to show you what could happen. What could happen if you do use these missiles? Not now because stupidly I've got APCR loaded, and you have to remember that, guys. You have to remember that. So many people questioned me in when I was testing this tank, and I couldn't say anything. I wasn't allowed. Um, as I was shooting people with APCR, and people were messaging me like, "Hey, I thought it had rockets." It does have rockets, but only the heat. You have to remember only the heat. So now we're going to show you what can happen, and you can get shots like these. You can. Um, my mate Iverson in Pramo, he is an absolute pro at guiding these shots, like really impossible shots. Uh, he's really, really good at doing. Um, so these are the kind of shots that you could do, that you can do. Uh, but it's not going to happen every time, trust me. Uh, it's going to be, even this battle, I'm getting these shots and I'm like, wow, I actually hit the shot. So I'm not going to recommend it enough, but only use the heat if you absolutely need to and people are going to try it people are going to try it but you will lose the battles you've got 13.5 second reload or actually 14 point uh 
something reload. We do get a lucky shot there, blind uh, missile. But here, we're gonna show you actually the reality of using these missiles. Um, yeah, that just went nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Um, so it's a very difficult tank to play, but I really enjoyed this tank. And again, it's not because of the missiles. If you see my stats on the tank, it's my highest average damage uh, tank in the game. Uh, not in the game. Well, it is, yep, yeah, in the game, in tier 10. It's, I'm ranked third in the world. I have around 80% win rate in, in the tank during testing. But none of it was because of the rockets. Absolutely none of it. Now, you're going to get shots like this. And this is probably the ideal time to use the rockets um, when you're in these kind of situations where you are over a ridge or under a ridge there's a tank the other side you don't really want to expose yourself then yes you can once you get the hang of using them i mean look at that that was a bounce on the track i hit the i hit the track on the t92e1 there so you'll be surprised at how many bounces you can do on this tank and how many people load he because you are a light tank with absolutely no armor but you do have the spaced armor. So those Death Stars that are going to load the Hesh, they could only do three, 400 damage. Sometimes they're, they're not going to hit your spaced armor, but you'll be surprised. You will absolutely be surprised. And you, you see them rage as well, like, what the fuck? I penned your weak spot, blah, blah, blah. It's spaced armor. It's literally the sides especially, and even the rear, like, it's covered in spaced armor. Now here, as I've shown, this is the reality of actually using these missiles they're not easy and people when i was testing people were saying that this tank is op because all they think about is the t49a now the t49a was it was broke it was one of the most broke tanks in the game but it wasn't broke because of the missiles it was only broke because the uh the percentage chance of damaging modules and you can amarack three or four tanks in a single game. That was the only thing that was broke about that tank. Now, the best thing, what I, what I do like what Wargaming have done here is they've added fuel to the missile. And you can see the bottom of my arrow thing, or rect ret reticle, that shows your fuel. So I do like what they've done there. And you can't auto-aim on people. So that is it guys, update 6.7. I hope you do enjoy it. Please use the missiles only if you need to. I'm Mizi69 and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.